Hello, I'm Gary Scheinman. I'm a composer, uh, games, films, TV, and uh, I'm looking forward to being at Soundtrack Cologne on August 24th in a few weeks, and very excited to be there. I'll also actually be attending DevCon a few days before that, so I'll be in Cologne for about seven or eight days. I really decided when I was about 16 or 17 that I wanted to be a composer, and but not a composer of concert music. I wanted to be a composer for, of film and television. Games were not really an option in the 80s, so uh, I wanted to be a film and TV composer. And uh, I studied music composition at USC. Uh, I have a degree from there, and I'm teaching there now too, but um, once a week, we the screen scoring program. So uh, I really was focused on, you know, learning all the basics of composition, but really with my intention being to become a composer for film and television uh, and um, found, found somehow some way to, to achieve that. For one thing, you can make a living. You can get paid to write music. <laughs> That was pretty attractive to me. I was practical from that perspective. Actually, um, the music of uh, Bernard Herrmann was uh, a huge influence on me to become a composer. And his uh, scores for a number of films that I saw on television were just, uh, to me, they, they epitomized really interesting orchestral music that wasn't symphonic necessarily. All the Bernard Herrmann wrote symphonies and concerti. Um, but it was it was just so evocative and so interesting, and that appealed to me, th that type of music. And also the marrying of visual imagery and music has always fascinated me. And it's a, it's, it, I think it remains a mystery why humans are, can be so moved, how we're, we are so moved by taking images and adding music to them. And all of a sudden you have this very emotional experience, and that to me is just really uh, magical, I don't know what, mysterious, amazing, and it just appealed to me. The most important thing is that the music helps the game. Really, that is the bottom line. It really has to function and help the game and underscore the moments for the players and really make it feel like a, uh, a, a fulfilling you know, experience. So that's it. And then if you can get beyond that and write something really creative within, once you, you functionally do what you need to accomplish, then there's trying to elevate it above and beyond that. You know, so you, I'm always trying to do that, but at bottom line, sometimes you just need something really simple and do something really cool. And so you try to make those, you try to do the, the most you can with those opportunities, you know, and, and write something really, really cool that also obviously fits and works for the game.